Greetings. We, the students of Army Public School Mau, are presenting a documentary on the topic Rap and Web. The Journey of Lotus Silk. Lotus fiber extracted from the stems of lotus which grow naturally in South and Southeast Asia. It is one of the finest aquatic fibers ever weaved. The material made by this fiber is light in weight. It can be dyed by both natural and chemical ways. Lotus silk is manufactured in countries like India, Cambodia, Myanmar and Vietnam. Pure lotus fabric is the first natural microfiber. It is probably the most ecological fabric in the world. In particular, it is amazingly resistant, soft, lightweight and wrinkle free. It is believed to have originated in India referencing the fabric found in ancient Hindu scriptures. Lotus silk is a luxurious and sustainable textile made from lotus plant native to South and Southeast Asia. It has been used for centuries in countries such as India, Thailand and Burma. Lotus silk was first used to weave monastic robes as an offering to Buddha's images or Buddhist monks. But now it is used for variety of clothings including scarves and hats. Tong Bram Bijaya Shanti Dev, India's first lotus silk maker from Manipur. While lotus silk hails from Myanmar, it has been replicated in Vietnam and to a lesser degree in India where the lotus plant grows. The process of making this fabric begins with the harvesting of stems which only takes place during rainy season which lasts from mid-May to late October. In 2017, Phan Thi Thuan, a weaver near Hanoi, introduced the weaving practice to Vietnam. In 2019, Bijia Shanti Tongbram from Manipur, India, began making lotus silk using lotus stems gathered from the Loktak Lake. Once the stem is picked and collected by hand, it can be rolled together and dried. The threads need to be processed in 24 hours while they are still wet, otherwise they will break. Which is the reason why harvesting has to be done every day. Once the hard part is done, these threads are very delicate. Once dried, these threads are delicately weaved down and carefully hand spooned and then they are put into the loom. These fibers are fragile but can be as durable as regular silk. The content of this presentation is Indigenous plant fibers Fiber extraction Weapon rift techniques Indigenous weaving traditions Goal The goal of this presentation is to show the journey of indigenous plants, fiber extraction, wrap and weft, and their techniques, and last, weaving traditions. Indigenous plants fiber. Indigenous varieties of plants are native plants of area. This include plants that have developed naturally or existed for many years in an area. Plants that are introduced to an area are called exotic plants. Some plants like lotus, banana, cacti, fruits, seeds, stems and other grasses. We have some examples for, their, for them. Fiber extraction. Fiber extraction technology produces fibers bonded to one another in the form of strands. Obtaining technical fiber is associated with the destruction of the stem or the other plant part of the plant containing fiber bearing tissues. Water retting is the most common method to extract high quality fibers in the retting process. Existence of bacteria and moisture in plants allows them to break down large parts of cellular tissues and adhesive substances that surround fibers, enabling separation of individual fibers from the plant.
fiber extraction. Indigenous weaving traditions. Indigenous weaving traditions are diverse and rich cultural practices found in many indigenous communities around the world. These traditions involve the creation of textiles, baskets, and other woven items using techniques that have been passed down through generations. These traditions are not only functional but also carry deep cultural and spiritual significance. Indigenous weaving traditions are not only a means of creating functional items but also a way to preserve cultural heritage, pass down knowledge and express artistic creativity. These traditions often hold deep spiritual and symbolic meanings and the patterns and their design tell stories of the people and their connection to the land and their ancestors. Conclusion In closing, we have embarked on a journey through the rich world of indigenous plants and their transformation into textiles using map and web techniques. This exploration has revealed several important takeaways. Cultural significance, environmental sustainability, preservation challenges, contemporary re relevance, global collaboration.